guys, welcome to Shaq's World, my name is Shaq. Today I'll be doing a long-term review on my 2017 Honda CBR 1000RR. I'll be talking about the good points, the bad points, and the reliability of the motorcycle. So I've taken the bike on the dyno, I took it on the drag strip, I've taken it to the group rides, the bike has 19,000 kilometers on the clock, and I've had it close to a year and a half now. But before I start, Please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Alright guys, let's talk about the good points about the motorcycle. So he has a very nice flickable chassis. The build quality is fantastic on the motorcycle. The exhaust sound, it's fantastic. Past 6,500 RPM, it feels like a straight through pipe. I just love the sound on it. Very easy to ride. So, if you're jumping from a 600 to a 1000, I would suggest you get a CBR 1000 of love because it's very, very easy to ride and very forgiving. The gearbox is very smooth, so it's very easy to use the gearbox. Bad points about the motorcycle. From first to second gear, you might get a false neutral on the quick shifter. Other than that, the quick shifter is great. It needs more power down low. It has a very nice top end, very nice mid range, but nothing down low. He has very nice electronics, however, I don't like the wheelie control on it. So let's just say you're on the track and you're on the accelerator hard. And what happens is the motorcycle goes on one wheel and comes down in a very violent way, which I don't like. Honda needs to work on the wheelie control a lot more. Where the horn button is on your left hand side of the handlebar, there's too many buttons, it's too busy. Let's just say if you want to use the indicator, you might end up pressing the horn or something else. Reliability. At 10,000 kilometers, my cam chain tensioner stopped working. That's a common issue on the Honda CBRs. And I still haven't fixed that issue yet. It's done 19,000 kilometers, I still haven't even touched it because it's not a big issue. At 12,000 kilometers, I had a small oil leak on the side of the engine that only cost me $140 to fix it. So it wasn't a big issue. At 8,000 kilometers, as I was riding, the rear brake light was on the whole time without even pressing the brake. I took it to my mechanic, he said it was only a loose plug. So he plugged it back in and that was fixed. I didn't have to spend any money on it. At 15,000 kilometers, the quick shifter bolt came off. So what the mechanic done is he put a new bolt in. Guys, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.